I picked this background song at random. It's comics and shots. Today's subject, Booster Gold and Triumph. Why one is better than the other. The answer is Booster Gold, of course. One, you know who Booster Gold is, if you're a, even generally a comic book fan. Or, a, you know, pop culture fan in general. Triumph? You probably don't know who Triumph is. His origin is a full-on, straight-up, pointless retcon. Apparently, he was the one of the original members of the Justice League, but due to time travel nonsense, got forgotten from history, blah, 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 blah. And, you know, when he comes back, he's not automatically put back on the team because they don't remember who he is. And because of that, from what I've read, from what I've heard from his people, he just whines all the, all the time about how no one respects him anymore. An original member of the Justice League supposedly just whines about how no one respects him anymore. It doesn't work. It did not work. There's a reason you don't know this character exists. There's a reason the character wasn't adapted. It's because he's a total whiner. Marvel, ironically, did the concept better with the Sentry as he had a reason to make people want to forget he exists because of his alter ego, The Void. That one people know about The Void. That works. They also had a character called Blue, have a character called Blue Marvel. He's pretty cool, but it's just a little weirder that no one knew who Blue Marvel was when he went into seclusion because he was a public superhero entity. Century, he brainwashed the entire world. Blue Marvel, just forgotten from history. But, you know, metaphorically that works because he is a black man who was exposed as a black man, you know, tried to save the world in secret. was like, hey, we don't want black people saving us. And, you know, black people are often erased from history when it comes to, like, their accomplishments in a video. Yeah, so in a lot of ways it works. The original graphic novel's kind of up in the air, a little, like, too on the nose, but, you know, I might reread it again. I might be wrong. Back to Triumph, though. I'm pretty sure he died. And I don't think anyone cared. I don't think I cared, because I easily just went from that character to, like, Sentry and Blue Marvel, who are generally more likable and more interesting characters. Triumph, though, he just, you know, a footnote of the 90s, and, you know, Chris Priest worked on him quite a bit, but not enough to make him a mainstay. Yeah. Some things work, some things don't. That's his life. And that's is comics and chats. Like, comment, and subscribe. Praise be to the blood elf. Ah. Feel the power, Nintendo power. Pretty sure I said that already, but I don't care. Peace out.